uh, two lectures hence I will come back to this and formally define what the objective function is. Constraint without going more into this we are going to use linear constraints only. Okay. So, we are in this course for, for the most part going to talk about a linear system quadratic objective function subject to linear constraints. Anything else we are going to talk about as enhancement to MPC okay. and then we are going to so talk about how to solve this QP problem which is quadratic objective plus linear model plus linear constraints. Okay. And all the funders of linear algebra that we have talked about in module 1, not all but a fair number of those funders are what we are going to use in order to build this overall uh, form, uh, formulation. Okay. Let us just quickly recap what we have from step response model. Okay. So, uh, y tilde k or x k, I do not remember what I had used uh, is going to be y 0 of k, y 1 of k, y n minus 1 of k. Okay. Okay. This is a n multiplied by n y vector. Okay. Each of these guys is a n y dimensional vector. Okay. Okay. At time k u k minus 1 has been implemented. And you have got this. Okay. When you go to the next time, u k also has been implemented. So, you have to incorporate the effect of u k in the model. Okay. So, y tilde k plus 1 is going to be m multiplied by y tilde k plus s 1, s 2 and so on multiplied by s n. it should be small u. Okay, this is what we had done. This is upward shift. Something that we just talked about a few minutes back. Okay. This is the state update that happens at k plus 1. Okay. If you are at time k, you have to state updated based on the past, okay? which basically means we are just rewriting it taking into account at time k instead of at time k plus 1, which basically means state update equation is just going to be y tilde k equal to m multiplied by y tilde k minus 1 plus That's all. What I have done is wherever k was, I have replaced it with k minus 1. Okay. So, when you are implementing it, you can implement state update equation as the first thing that you do at time k. If you do that, then you use this equation 
if it is the last thing that you do at time k, then you pre compute k plus 1 and you use this. Okay? Now, the reason why I am saying all of this is, and that is actually the beauty of how industry people think. Okay? State update is an additional computation that you need to do in your microprocessor. It will take milliseconds time, but it is going to take that milliseconds time which is very, very vital. Okay? If you do state update at time k, you are doing state update, then you are doing prediction, then you are finding uk and then implementing it. Okay? If you pre-do the state update, what you are going to do is from the last time the state that, that has been updated, you will take it at time k plus 1. Okay? You will then do the prediction, you will then com com compute uk plus 1, you will implement uk plus 1. Okay? Then compute yk plus 2 and move on. So, you have implemented uk plus 1 and then did an additional calculation. Okay? And these small, small things will actually matter a whole lot in the overall performance. Okay? We are not really going to talk about you know all of this in those gory details, but you will see in some of some of the notes if you go to the internet, you will have the state update equation in terms of what I have written over here. Sometimes you will have state update equation in terms of what you have, I have written over here. They are exactly the same. They are absolutely exactly the same. Okay, you do A B C A B C A B C A B C. It depends about where you put that bracket because you are doing that ABC, 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 ABC all the time, right? So, if you do ABC or you do BC, ABC, ABC, it really does not matter, okay? So, that is what, what it is about, okay? So, I end this class over here.